based on the presence of people on site, have also had to adjust. And despite the pandemic, Singapore headquartered JustGo has launched not one, but two co-working centres to meet what it sees as rising demand. Let's bring in Kong Wan Singh now, CEO and founder at JustGo. He joins us from uh, Singapore. Wan Singh, thanks for your time. So why and what gives you the confidence uh, to invest in these co-working spaces? Uh, pandemic has changed uh, how people work a lot, uh, especially we can see in the last couple of months that uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, a lot of companies are talking about letting their staff to 100% work from home. But recently, in the last couple of weeks, we are seeing a lot of big companies, especially big banks like JP Morgan, are starting to get their people to go back to office. Uh, why is that so? Uh, purely because work from home, 100% work from home doesn't work. It reduces uh, the productivity, uh, creativity, and the engagement. So uh, when people are back to work, flex, uh, Provider like us uh, is um, uh, giving the best uh, provide a solution that we can give to all the companies. That gives us the confidence to continue to grow co working space. Is it about giving people the choice? Is that where your clients and businesses are coming from? So, on the one hand, if their workforce still feels a degree of risk and risk aversion, then they can work from home. But because of all those uh, reasons on the business side uh, that you uh, talked about, they have the choice to go to a co-working space, not necessarily the office per se, but a co-working space. So is that how you are positioning yourself as something of a halfway house? Um, I think number one is that we have uh, our members uh, and interest. You know, when they come to the office, we have all the safety in place, all the social distancing, uh, all the hygiene are in place. So they don't have to worry coming to a co-working space. That's number one. Number two is more about uh, giving them the choice to work from anywhere. Um, we truly believe that post-pandemic, um, work, uh, work will become a hub and spoke uh, solution where people will still need to go to their office where they can exchange uh, ideas, where there's a culture of the office is, but they will want to work from anywhere uh, according to their choice and how they want it. So that's where just hope comes into place. You mentioned uh, creativity just at the start of this interview, and it was JP Morgan last week that people were looking at because the CEO, Jamie Dimon, talked about creative combustion that was missing with people being out the office. They sent traders back into work at the Big Bang in Manhattan, this is, and then some of the traders were actually sent home because somebody had contracted COVID. So we still are very deep into this COVID issue. When you're speaking to clients, what are they most concerned about with regards to health and safety? Are you providing masks, hand washing? What kind of of, uh, facilities do you have to provide to ensure people feel safe? Oh, definitely. Uh, every member that come into the center, they will need to take the temperature uh, twice a day, and we will need to check uh, where have they been you know, in the last uh, couple of weeks, couple of days, and they will need to do all the social uh, social contact, you know, check in, check out. So that's the kind of uh, measure that we have uh, put in place at all the co-working places. That's for sure. So that uh, with all this measure, all our members will feel safe if they are coming to the office. Uh, not only that, we actually intensify uh, all the common area where people get to mingle around. We practice all the one meter distancing. Uh, we stop all the physical events uh, at the moment. Everything is going online. Uh, and, uh, you know, at the mingle area, uh, they are not supposed to sit uh, uh, one to one to another next to each other. So, one thing, can you give us a sense of um of uh, demand then and uh, tenants and uh, just how sticky they are and uh, where you see user growth or tenant growth uh, going moving forward into 2021. And if I can also ask you a bit of a direct, a bit of a cheeky question, if I may, what do you think what went wrong with WeWork and what are the lessons from WeWork for you guys in the co-working space? Uh, I'll answer the first part of the question first. Uh, we, we are very fortunate, we are seeing very positive trend recently 
even though that a lot of the country are under lockdown, we are seeing a much stronger enterprise demand for co-working, flexible workspace. Uh, as you can see from our press release, the last uh, two weeks, we managed to sign big deals like L'Oreal, uh, Ryan Gate from Tencent, who took up a, a huge number of space uh, from our new location that just opened at OCBC and Center Point. So I think um, evidence speaks itself. Uh, uh, post uh, uh, pandemic, uh, more and more enterprises are uh, trying to embrace uh, flexible workspace. Uh, to answer your second question, I wouldn't want to comment so much about my competitor, but I think uh, what's the, uh, driving just hope to thrive in this uh, uh, crisis has always been our belief that financial discipline. We have always believed in financial discipline. Uh, we are very disciplined in every location that we open in Singapore and in all the rest of the regions in Asia. So I think that really differentiates ourselves from a lot of our competitors. Kong Wan Singh, CEO and founder at JustCo. We wish you all the best with these launches. Thanks for your time this morning.